Well, let's go, uh, let's go solve the first mystery. Do we have a ridiculous amount of enemies waiting for us down here? Well, hi there, shock zombie. Now, you should not be able to shock me through that window. That has traditionally been the case. I should be able to just stand right here and shoot him without him being able to shock me. Well, that is no longer the case. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, get out of the shock field. There's more damage I did not need to take. I don't know. There, I mean, maybe a grenade around the corner would have worked. He's also going to get up if I spend too much time down here. The only way to get in there without taking the bars down is uh, to go around, which I don't want to do. I'm not sure continuing to shoot the space would do any good. To try to pulp the corpse remotely. Yeah, the grenade throwing would have been fine. I would have thrown it. I would have been standing here. I would have peeked and then just thrown it like right here. And I'd be able to close the door and possibly even get up the stairs before the grenade blast went off. So I'm just not certain the explosion would have caught him on the other side of these uh, metal bars. But yeah, that's a pretty big change. If they're able to do that, I wonder if they're able to shock blast through chain link fences now. That was another common tactic I would use for protection in cities. If I had shock zombies to deal with, I would, uh, and I had a chain link fence nearby, I would just lure them to the chain link fence and I'd be able to shoot them through the fence without uh, getting shock blasted. So, if it's true that you can't do that anymore, that's a fairly... Taser hacks. Ah, I hate taser hacks. That's a fairly important distinction. Man, I really do not want to have to come back and kill this guy again. Or have to get shocked again. Need. I think I, I'm going to spend the time actually getting through these bars. Hexaw, cut metal. Smash corpse. What do we got? Desert Eagle mag. Mags, mags, <laughs> mags and ammo, no guns. Yeah, I don't care about any of that stuff. Almost always these weird rounds and these weird magazines. All right, so that shaved off some more hit points. Not good. Could have been worse, though. I don't think we got shocked as much as might have happened. So, this is another opportunity. I could shoot this guy, hacksaw through the bars, but I don't really see a point. He can't do any damage to me. And there's just going to be weird ammo in here again. So, the next big question mark is right here. Uh-oh. That I don't like to see. So, there's... There's another door right here blocking this hallway, and then there's going to be an entrance into this uh, downstairs section. So if there's not something in here that can open a door, and there's not commonly somebody on the security floor that can open doors, I should be able to ignore what's ever on the other side of that. So let's open that door and peek. So there's the door I'm talking about right there. We're just going to leave them on the other side of that door. All right, let's um, head down. Hey there, Mr. Zombie Hollow. So we're in one of the uh, square grid sections that has the hallway and hallway. What's an activity suit? Yeah, super duper armor. Activity suit. 
Single piece brown and orange environmental suit tailored in a way that slightly recalls a military flight suit. The letters Zedra are inscribed on its back and a white shoulder patch on the right arm shows an arrow reaching within rings of concentric circles. Made of Kevlar and high carbon steel, so it's fairly hard to damage. It gives you pretty much immunity to all of the environmental stuff. Uh, environment shock and radiation and that kind of stuff. Um, plus pretty good protection ratings, as you can see in this section. Acid resist, fire resist, gas resist, or environmental resist. Um, so it's a very high-end technical suit that was used to try to protect... Um, People that they, the scientists, were sending into other dimensions. I am not deaf, right? I am not deaf. All right. Ah, oh, damn slimes. Why does it have to be slimes? And why do I have to shoot them? That woke somebody up. More slimes. Please tell me the door is not open. God damn it. <laughs> that is not good. That is not even a little bit good. Ugh. <clears throat> hmm. I'm debating, do I roll a grenade down the corridor? Try to kill all those stupid things? <laughs> One's already come to get me. I don't know if I can throw that far. I, I want to use this corridor. Now this stupid one here is kind of in my way. Keep moving, you stupid things. I just don't want them right where I want to stand. All right, so yeah, let's see if we can blow ourselves up. <clears throat> Activate, grenade, eek, throw, grenade, run. Um, I had to stand right there. <laughs> I still took damage. Oh man, I swear. This run's going to end all because of stupid damage I do to myself. And look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so I just took a bunch of damage for no good reason whatsoever uh, that's hilarious that is awesome 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 all right that's why i don't like playing with grenades yeah i, I have no doubt i might die in here this might be the end of the run right here I'm happy we've made it as far as we have, at least, <clears throat> under the conditions that we started with. Uh, I gotta get rid of these guys. I can't let them sit out here, so I'm gonna have to go blow through a bunch of ammo just to get rid of these guys. I don't want to get into melee combat with them. Nope, damage is permanent. I cannot do a single thing to raise those uh, those hit points. That's where the sinkhole was from the ground, from the floor above. So it only came down to this level. Hmm. 
Interesting. Alright, stairs down. Normally I would just jump under the stairs down. <laughs> Another stairs down. Uh, but this time we're actually looking for a specific item and we're looking for every scientist we can come across. Normally I'd care about some of this stuff. Books. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look what I missed sitting right there. I was standing right here just a second ago. Um, yeah, no books there of interest. Chemistry, computer science, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty poor. I think they're... Those are rebar cages they're trapped by. The wall, the rebar in the wall is still there, so they can't get through that section. Alright, we're going to wait a little bit. I need to get my, my character's hearing back. The uh, grenade made us deaf. Yet another stair. Alright, so none of these rooms have any uh, chance of having what I'm looking for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Close the door. Close the door. Uh, taser hacks. <laughs> right out of the gate uh, the, some of the things I absolutely hate the most please tell, please tell me not another taser hack CBMs huh internal chronometer ooh I could be able to tell time through bionics ethanol burner eh, it's not too bad Long spot. Oops. Uh, prisoner containment. I don't want prisoner containment. And I can't hack it anyway. Um... So, Prisoner Containment does have a small chance of some meds in the very back corner, but I would be really surprised if Panaceus is on that list. Alright, we're done with this side. Hey there, tough zombie. Subject suit. Don't need a subject suit. More stairs down. And no other doors. Alright, that's the other hole that was up above us. In the uh, west of the warehouse area. A Gracken is loose. Um, more stairs. Well, so far they've been fairly inconsequential, but this goes down even further. Right into a an auto dock room, huh? And we've got uh, we got fungus. That is not good. So yes, we were able to peek down uh, the, the ledge there. 
Um, Luckily, we're not going to be trying to read or craft, so we don't have to worry as much about the fungus spread slowing my, my processing time down. Well, this is the kind of room I'm looking for. Try to get... Uh, Panaceas. I'm not sure if it's only certain specific rooms that have a chance. Yet another auto dock. Hey there, nurse bot. Anybody in here with you? If there was, they'd be pressed up against the glass, or have they changed that too? In there. You the friendly one? You are. I want to say that's the unfriendly one. Here we go, just hold still. Is that the creepy message? <laughs> Come on, I don't bite. I promise it won't hurt one bit. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the evil nurse. Don't care who's in containment. No way other, no other way except south out of the room. So this will probably be another endpoint location. Uh oh, it's a barracks. A barracks with noise. What kind of noise? Mechanical whirring noise. That's probably a grenade chucking tank. Map note. Barracks. Grenade. Flying grenades. Yeah, they made the sprite identical. You, there's still a couple other ways you can tell. If you're in the know. But, uh... They did fix the sprite, so it's not incredibly obvious. Alright, teleporter... Fresh and blue, not what I'm hoping for. All right, so maybe this floor won't be that big unless it keeps expanding west and south. Uh oh, doors, doors broke. Who's over there? Spider mutagenic primer. <laughs> I think they broke the door and then died in the dissector. Yeah. A Remington 700 again. 30 out 6. So we got some blobs, we got some dissectors, not much else. Let's keep going south. Alex Vault, huh? Scientist. Panaceas, please. Oh, right bottle, wrong item inside. <clears throat> That's the kind of drop we need. We need plastic prescription bottle, but we need to say Panaceas.
More plopping. Oh, dogs. Um... This again is the kind of room I'm looking for with the stuff on the shelves. None of what I need though. I'd rather not leave dogs behind me. Oh, oh scientist. Alright, I think the dogs are still still captive. Ah! <laughs> so close again. Pick a different one. Need better uh better random rolls. Sure, I'll take a stethoscope. Why not? Apartment area. Are scientists really my best bet for panaceas? It's a combination of a high chance of scientists and chance of panaceas showing up on one of these tables in the uh, the lab here. But yes, there's very, very, very few places with any chance of the panaceas nowadays. Pharmacies have zero. There's, don't don't even bother. There's zero in pharmacies. Uh, I don't really need food or meds or books, so I don't really need to search this stuff. So, my preference is uh, this old-style science lab, partly due to scientists being fairly prevalent. Um, that prisoner containment room that I passed... Uh, previously could have a couple of scientists in there so plus there's there's medicine on the side shelf so I should probably mark that and actually go visit it uh, so let's go ahead and mark it it's, it's very common to have um, two to three scientists in the little entry area here and then this side room has a shelf with some meds and then there's the back room that I never go to to get some meds um, and I'm still not going to go to that. All right. I don't think Panaceus has any chance to show up on any of this kind of inventory. I think mostly I found it on these kinds of shelves and on in the rooms that are the, the full square rooms that have all the shelves with uh, chemistry and mutation books and materials. Those are from memory, the ones that uh, I think are the most likely. <clears throat> like I said, I don't think I'm going to see it in these kinds of places. Let's go ahead and have some mineral water while we're here. An old banana. TCL is another place where you can find it. All right, we're done on the south end. Nope, we're not going in there. Not going to be in there. Down to the last last room on this floor. Or last set of doors. Uh, to me, zombie. Let the environment do our work for us. Hey, now. <laughs> Don't be getting all smart on me now, zombies.
The fun is when you open one of these grates and there's a shock zombie inside. Surprise! <laughs> that, that's always a good time. A good old SICP in a crate. This should be another endpoint, another prisoner containment, library, or barracks. Eventually. <laughs> it will be one eventually. Some a root beer. I haven't had a multivitamin today. Uh-oh. further than I expected. All right. Yeah, HHG isn't all inclusive because it can't see inventory um, or loot designations for certain location types. <clears throat> These don't be a shock zombie. Security guard. Uh oh. All right, we're not opening that one. We're finally going to hit that endpoint I keep talking about. Yes, we do. Another prisoner containment. All right, we're done on this floor. They're, they're frosted glass. Closed frosted glass door. Frosted white glass. That's why you can't see through them. All right, let's, uh, let's head back towards our entry spot. And we'll take the first stairs down from there. Way I can get out of here quickly if we need to. Let's go. I guess right here is fine. More blobs. Rat mutagenic primer, standard mutagen. We don't need any of that stuff. We might go bionic. We're definitely not going mutation this round. 
All right, we got lots of goo piles to take advantage of. Lots of goo piles. Um, I don't remember what I saw up here earlier. So slimes inside the room. We got fungal spreading. Did I bring any antifungal with me? I think I picked some up. Yeah, we don't have any antifungal with me. <clears throat> I gotta make sure we have some before I do anything dangerous with that stuff. Nothing I need. I just need to see far enough to the north to see if there's a door up there. There is no door up there. Alright, we can go west, we can go east, and that's it. Um, let's go west. <laughs> so many! Auto dock next to auto dock. We had one up above on the floor as well. So for folks that have just joined in, we're, we're on the search for one item called a panacea. It's a drug. We're hoping to find it either on a shelf or as loot dropped from a scientist. That's our, our really our primary goal for being in this laboratory. If we get into some barracks and get some uh, high caliber futuristic weaponry or anything like that, then bonus. But our primary goal is just that one item. And that's going to be a library. So that doesn't help us. We can't get anything useful out of a library. So I'm just bypassing 90% of this stuff, but library entrance. If you're not familiar with these endpoints that I refer to, um, the way the map gen works, it always puts endpoints in these. Uh, I'll talk about that later, but. Um, where this computer terminal's at is partly deterministic on what kind of endpoint this is. I know which one I've got just by looking at it. If the uh, terminal is here, it's a barracks. If the terminal is here, it's one of two possibilities. Either the library, and if it is the library, it also has to have this short hallway with these two side rooms. So as soon as I saw the computer in that corner position with these two side rooms, I knew it was a library. If you don't have these two side rooms in the corridor, then it's going to be the prisoner containment room. And those are pretty much your only three options. Eric's prisoner containment and library. That way, you open the door, you look. If you don't need it, you can just walk away. Okay, we can't go south, can't go west, so we got to go back across here. I am kind of tempted to go straight down just so I can see how deep this lab goes. It gives me some idea of how much wandering around we're going to have to do. This room has enemies, including that guy there. Thorny Shambler, who might actually get some damage on me. Uh, let's not go through there. We'll approach that from another direction. We might be able to shoot him from, uh, from darkness. Let's go south this time, though. Standard zombie, he'll be no problem. We can just lure him up to uh, Dissector. Oh, don't go get stuck in a corner, you idiot zombies. Hiding in the bathroom? Yes. Oh, Batwing. Didn't see me yet. Um, ah, there's multiple guys hiding in that corner. Hey, Batwing zombie. Give me a little bit of distance. Not in general going to be anything on those regular zombies anymore that I care about. Antifungal. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of propitious, given, uh, given where the fungus is currently located and spreading. That kind of surprises me a bit. 
<laughs> and a microwave burrito in the other bathroom. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Cataclysm. The milk's gone bad. The BLTs are bad. Putting in yogurt and all that other good stuff. Ah, we're tired again. Damn it. It's going to be an effect of the, uh, the cold that we have is we're going to get tired a lot faster. That is a lot of blobs. That is a whole lot of blobs. Please tell me they're all trapped within that one area. Chemistry set. That's kind of hilarious. They are all trapped in that one little area. 25 big, big, big slimes. I'm, I'm supposed to call them slimes now. They got retconned. Once upon a time, for a long time, they were blobs. Don't care, don't need. All right, our westward track is done. We've got no doors that go west, so keep going south. Uh, where did I come down into this area? Was it here? Yeah. Plutonium fuel cells. All right, sure. We'll grab some plutonium. We heard some sound here, didn't we? Shuffling. Mm, they're either misplacing that sound cursor. It's on this side. There's definitely nobody there. Now there's a three by three grids. Tommy dog and a security guard. Surprised they were still alive, given they were in a room with a dissector. Usually they would have chopped themselves up. Ether. Oops. Hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> All right, so again, we're we're done. We have no doors on the exterior walls all the way back up to there. Whoa, cleaning bots. <clears throat> cleaning bots are okay. Got slime pits to use. Don't care about a bedroom. More CBMs. Trickle charger. I don't think I've seen a trickle charger before. And another clock. And more blobs. Uh, we'll try to go around those blobs. Web spinning spider? Oh, yep, I guess there is a spider there. Hmm. I think I'm going to close this one off and go around. Uh, 
other apartment area. I should check up on chat. <laughs> I get kind of focused when I'm running through these. Uh, da, da, da. Nah, we don't need auto pickup. Yep. You hide in the box, you are solid snaking it. It's a tactical way of um, taking out certain enemies. More slimes, huh? Or a slime. So that would be, I think, the last of the, possibly the last of the caved-in sections from the, uh, the top floor. Uh, another plastic prescription bottle. Wrong item again. A rift, a shimmering portal. We don't want to get directly adjacent to that. These I'm going to leave alone, I think. We're not going to bother killing these guys. And we got slimes stacked up on the other door. So that's the slimes I heard earlier. well. No doors in the bottom edges. I gotta get up to that for the next door. It's one of my opportunity spots with all the uh, chemistry materials and such. That room, room right there. Shuffling. Another barracks, because the computer's on that side. 
This time we are not hearing robots. We shall return for you, barracks with zombies. Mr. Grabber Zombie and Thorny Shambler. Um, let's turn off the headlamp. Open that up. Throw on our glow in the dark peepers. Activate our glow in the dark peepers. to the fully lit. <laughs> so that's one of the opportunities where I'll switch out. Whoops. I'll switch out to uh, other vision. I don't feel the need too often to do it. That uh, Thorny Shambler had ranged fire. Grappler would have been no problem either way. I didn't want to take any ranged fire. Filter mask, UPS, ceramic armor, heavy battery. Can't go east. North is our only choice. We're we're about done on this floor too. We got nowhere else to go except for that one door to the north. There is noise coming from up there. It's going to be another barracks. Shuffling. The prisoner containment. Prisoner containment because the computer's in that corner and there's not that short hallway with the two rooms on the sides. So... Oh, the silo. All right, we're just going to save prisoner containment some barracks for last. So we're down with two floors. Uh, oh, that's my up point. I think I'll go down that one. Uh, the layout stuff, that's the sidebar. It's uh, not that one. Not that one. There we go. Sidebar options. It's the like closed bracket. And you can change it to different general types. I use classic. And then I've turned some things off and moved some things around and all that kind of stuff. So the whole sidebar is now modular they modularized the entire thing so there are a lot more things you can actually do with it than just on this screen you can actually do some editing out of game to make changes or add and remove some things also but i try to keep mine as close to what i'm used to i mean after playing for four thousand hours i try to generally keep it the way i've had it in the past so that's why mine will look different than people using default settings that have just installed or anything like that. Plus, I use a different font type and a larger font size so that um, viewers that uh, watch my streams on uh, mobile devices like tablets and phones have a good view and can actually read the text. And yeah, the dark gray from memory tiles is part of that. That's the way it was when it was first implemented before they did the whole sepia option. So I'm just used to it. Uh, the way it is. Enter the portal. <laughs> that doesn't get me anything but radiation and teleport. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't like the sepia. The 
Z level. Uh, oh yeah, he can't hear me anyway. I'll stop trying to answer questions. <laughs> there you go. Okay, peak. Ah, fuzzy mushrooms. All right, we're not going to use that one. Let's go to... Oh, crap. I only have one other one. That one right down there. All right, that's not too far. Ooh, dead things up there. Big open room. Something strong enough to go through walls. That's not good news. All right, before we go down there, let's turn that off again. Let's switch vision. Something's also been opening doors. I wonder if it uh, broke out and then got slimed by a goop hit. And that could be what actually broke through the wall. That is weird to jump straight into that kind of a bedroom, though. Another cleaner box. We're still not on the bottom floor. <laughs> well, they made quite the uh, quite the path through a lot of these rooms. Breathers. I haven't seen the breathers in a while. All right, the rooms themselves. Oh, somebody broke the mutagen. The rooms themselves are clear currently. Whatever made all this is uh, moved on apparently. Goo canister, most powerful weapon in the game. I think we've already got a couple. I'm not going to worry about picking up goo canisters. Tassie Mai died. Wrong problem. Wrong wrong item again. Ah, man hacks. It did me the the favor of killing some man hacks for me. And a containment room to the north. So that's where we came down earlier. Just an L bend, so nothing I need in there. Let's go. I'm gonna go back south. Go in all directions, huh? There's going to be another portal in there somewhere, usually. All 
All right, so we can't go west. We can't go south from here. Let's check the northern route first. Oh, experimental mutant. I don't think... Are they strong enough to go through walls? I don't think they're strong enough to go through walls. I think he might have been responsible for killing a bunch of things, but I don't think he actually broke through the wall. Oh, crap. You gonna beat up on the poor cleaner bot? I don't want to waste ammo on this thing. Cleaner bot's gonna make me waste ammo on it though. Please <laughs> follow the cleaner bot. I was gonna lead him into a goo pit, nice and simple, but he's being pesky. that way. Gonna have to head back up for some ammo reloads here pretty soon. Plutonium. All right, so this should be one of those endpoints because there's no connector above or below it. This almost always means that it's going to lead out to uh, barracks, uh, <clears throat> prisoner containment library, possibly a, a railroad connection or a subway connection. Yep, that'd be another prisoner containment. Prisoner containment. So we are done on this side of the building. The liquid ammonia tank still have uh, exactly one. Yep, one. <laughs> one liquid ammonia. 